Okay, ready? Yeah, you ready? Hace aproximadamente seis años que Darwin salió de Honduras para estudiar y formarse en Estados Unidos. Aquí, con el pasar de los años, ha conocido familias maravillosas, gente y amigos muy amables que los han acompañado. Julie es una de esas personas. Y ahora es su esposa para toda la vida y hasta que la muerte los separe. I remember a day, years ago, when Julie and her mother came to talk to me because Julie had met a boy. The first thing that came to my mind was, what does Dana think? And Julie giggled and said, he just said, why are you going to go talk to pastor? What are you going to do, marry him? Well, look where we are today. Julie, I can't wait to see you. I'm so excited to see you and spend the rest of my life with you. I love you so much. And really look forward to begin this journey with you, uh, with the guidance of God. I love you, Mia Mua. Hi, Darwin. <laughs> Happy wedding day. Um, I can't believe it's finally here. I am so ready for it. I'm so excited. Um, it feels like the first step to something so incredible. I'm so lucky to love you. Um, and so lucky to have someone and be loved by someone like you. I believe that God's been planning this day for a long time. Let's go further back in time to 1998. Darwin Sr. and Gerald are proud new parents of their first child, a boy. While Dana and Barb were delighting over their third child, a girl. Who could have predicted that these two infants, separated by 2,000 miles, would one day attend Augustana University, where they would meet, fall in love, be crowned Viking Day King and Queen, and subsequently get married who knew? God knew. <laughs> You're so pretty. You're so pretty. <laughs> oh, you look so pretty. <laughs> oh. Let's get married. <laughs> Julie, I promise before God, our family, and friends to be your loving and faithful husband. Darwin, I promise before God, our family, and friends to be your loving and faithful wife. To share my life with you. In wealth and in poverty. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life all the days of my life. Julie and Darwin on the surface are two very different people. Um, she's from Yankton, South Dakota. He's from Honduras. She is the youngest of three siblings and he's the oldest of four. But they both love coffee. They both love their dog, Benito. They love avocados and tequila. But most importantly, they love each other.
Julie, I remember the day you were born. I was there. <laughs> and I cut the cord. And I wondered as you started to squawk, what's going to become of her? What's her life going to be like? Where's she going? And as time went on, I began to realize that you were special. You've always been special. And I thought you were a beautiful baby, but you're way more beautiful now. I first met Darwin in uh, early August of 2015. We had uh, found out we were going to be roommates at Augie together. And so we had been talking for a couple weeks before we met. Um, so when we first met in person, I stuck my hand out to give Darwin a nice handshake, and he politely swatted my hand away and gave me a massive hug. <laughs> I couldn't be happier for the two of you as you start your lives together, and I want you to remember that you'll always have a third family here for the both of you. Quiero que me acompañen en este brindis para pedir siempre lo mejor para ellos hoy y siempre y que la vida los llene de mucha felicidad y que los premie con un amor eterno siempre de la mano de Dios. Salud. Julia Dell, I found you when I least expected it, but when I needed you the most. My naive self thought that after one year I had experienced all there is to college in the U.S., but little did I know that it was just the beginning of a lifetime adventure. I can't imagine loving you more than I do right now, and yet I get to spend my whole life loving you more deeply in your ways. It is our distinct honor and privilege and joy to present Mr. and Mrs. Darwin and Julie Garcia. Darwin, you may kiss your wife. No matter how daunting, how challenging, or how unknown, I feel so much comfort and confidence knowing I will tackle life's adventures with you. I cannot wait to see what God has prepared for us. I love you tons, mi amor.